Hi, this is Dorothy from TaiChiBozeman.com slash raw food blog and also from FaveDiets.com. We're going to uh, make some raw granola today, which is a great transition food on the raw food diet because if you get raw oats, which is a little bit tricky thing to do, then you're still being on uh, technically raw food. Now, the best place I found to get them is Glazer Farms. And these are oat groats. They are hold oats. You need them hold because the outer shell must be removed for human consumption, but the oat bran is still intact. So they're hard, and, um, and so we're going to grind them. If you get steel cut or quick rolled, then they've been oxidized, and then that permits rancidity. So you don't want steel cut or rolled oats. Um, so just buy the oat groats themselves and then they'll be raw. And as I said, Glazer Farms is, is the best one. And they're also extremely reasonable, like $1.50 for a pound of oats. So um, you to grind your own, I've ground three cups here. And I'm going to grind one more. If you want to fade in so they can see how to do it because the grinding part is kind of important. If you grind it too much, then it becomes like flour. And um, these oats are high in fiber. They're lower cholesterol. They're rich in the B vitamins. They have vitamin E and um, they're mineral rich, especially in lysine, which reduces the risk of cancer and controls diabetes. Oats are also considered a cleansing grain because they cleanse your intestinal tract and lower your and uh, cleanse your blood as well. So when you grind it, you don't want it into flour, as I said. So set your your uh, grinder on medium, not coarse because that's too hard, and not fine because that would be flour. And then I learned that if I hold it for about 12 seconds, it's the perfect um, it's the perfect texture. So it's, uh, it's coarse and it's eat edible, you know, eatable. <laughs> you want to eat it like this in granola. So there's my fourth cup. And then it's a very simple recipe really. It's just oats, oil, and honey, and then you can add the rest of the things yourself. So oil, a third cup of any kind of oil you want, safflower or canola, even um, coconut oil would be really good, coconut oil, and you can use olive oil even. A half a cup of honey. I think I'll just kind of eyeball it here. And then a dash of salt, which I'll actually measure it today. It's usually about a half a teaspoon is what I like. And you don't want too salty granola. So yeah, a half a teaspoon looks just right. And then in my typical granola, I put in three-fourths cup of coconut, too. Now, so this is the basic recipe. And all you do is stir it and then put it on your dehydrator sheets. You could actually eat this right now and it would be, you would lose less minerals and vitamins that way. Also, oats is extremely good for the skin. with silica, high in silicon. Silicon, yeah. And the vitamin E is very good for the skin. So I always make a different kind. You could make like blueberry granola. You could make um, orange juice and vanilla. You could make, um, put some seeds in it, like flax seeds, chia seeds, sunflower seeds. Today I'm going to make strawberry banana almond granola. And it's so good because um, these, here's the strawberries. I'm going to put in that whole dish later. And here's the bananas. They dehydrate in there and come out so sweet that it really makes an excellent granola. And so I'm going to put in almonds bananas and strawberries. And I'll put in the whole banana, as I said, and, and the, all those four strawberries. 
So to eat this, you could put this in a bowl right now. Or you can put it on your dehydrator sheet and dehydrate it. And when you do put it on your sheet, you want to put it relatively flat so um, it'll be nice and cereal-like when you're done. So you want to do it like that. And then to eat it, well, you can dehydrate this for about 24 hours. And don't be surprised if you start eating it right away because it's really good warm. And then you can put almond milk on it or warm tea, apple juice. Um, I find tea works the best for me. So enjoy your granola from Dorothy at TaiChiBozeman.com slash raw food blog and also from FaveDiets.com.